All right, it's 355, and I'm gonna try to get this done before ah uh, 10 or 11, hopefully. You're gonna need these two files: recovery underscore ext dot rfs, and you're gonna need Froyo RC2. On your SD card, you need to have an SDX folder on the root directory. See, there's the root directory right there, and then there's the folder. And then you need backup, updates, and zip. You need to go to this updates folder. We'll delete these two files. Then we'll take this recovery underscore ext.rfs and we'll place it in the updates folder. Go to zip, and then take the Froyo RC2 and put it in the zip folder. So root directory, SDX, and then zip folder. Okay, the transfer is complete. Now we will eject the USB drive. Go into recovery. All right, normally when you flash your recovery to RFS, you go to backup, restore, flash. And then you go down to flash recovery.rfs. But we can't do that because of the ext4 thing. So we got a file browser. Go to SD card. Go to SDX. Go to updates. And there's the file we placed there. Now we'll push menu. And it'll say flash recovery kernel. Home. Now we reboot to recovery. Go to console. If you want ext4, if you don't want ext4, you don't do this. If you do want ext4, then you need to do this. Go to console, enter, and then ext, hold down fn, and then press r, and push enter. It'll start doing a bunch of crazy stuff. Go to apply zip from SD card. Froyo RC2. And then home. Wow, I stopped recording for like a minute and it finally finished because it took so long that I didn't know if it was going to finish or not. Reboot to system. All of this is going to take quite a few minutes, so this isn't something you're just going to quickly do and be on your way. You're going to get a Wi-Fi error, so I'm going to show you how to run this command. Alright, you're going to need either ConnectBot or Android Terminal Emulator to get your Wi-Fi working. So, it's free, and we'll click Open. We've got to type S, U, Enter, and then it's going to ask for root. And there you go, now we have root. And we got to type remount. R W enter. Then we got to do C H M O D seven five five slash system slash. ETC slash Y Fi slash W P A underscore I had to find it underscore Sa Flick 
content dot c o n f enter okay it says something about Wi-Fi on while I was typing all that so settings All right, I'm going to install Chrome to phone, and I'm going to send the link, this website, to my phone, and then I'm going to copy that code and just paste it to make it easier. Chrome to phone. And then I'm going to right click on the website, and I'm going to click send this page to Android, and my phone should launch up. There we go. I'm going to use Clipper to help me manage my clipboard. Yeah, Dimitri, this radio station, this independent station, has been around since the 1960s. It is where Oprah started reading the news when she was back in high school. But I want you to walk in here with me. I want to show you inside one of the towers here. You can Wait, see Nick. that someone has basically come in and ripped out all... Ah, uh, zoom out. Okay, so it's copy to clipboard now. We're going to go back to terminal emulator. Again, we're going to type re mount R W. Then it says, and then I'm going to do paste. However, I would do paste. Menu. Paste. There, the code's in there. Push enter. So, uh, no errors this time. Cool. Cool, cool. We'll go back to Wi Fi. Check that out. Wi Fi works. I'm going to go to here. It's funny, I've never actually done this. Uh, whenever I restore my phone with Titanium Backup, it restores my old uh, settings, I guess. Sweet, we are connected. Awesome. So there's how you uh, fix the Wi-Fi issue. You can do what I did. You can install a Clipper, which is an awesome keyboard app that whenever you, you copy something, it saves it. And then you uh, download Chrome to phone. You send this topic to your phone, and then Chrome to phone will launch it, and then you copy it, and then you paste it inside Terminal Emulator, and bam, your Wi-Fi works. But I didn't have to actually do that, because when I install Titanium Backup, I'm going to show you all the f a feature of the Pro version real quick. Titanium Backup. Press Menu, and then Batch, and you'll get this. And with the Pro version, you can do Run Missing Apps and All System Data, and you just click Run. And... What do I not want to restore? And then run batch operation. Now, all it is is a matter of waiting. See, with that one button, click and run one time and then run batch operation. Everything's being automated. I don't have to click anything. With the free version, after if it was done installing market, it would say done or open, and I would click done, and then it would bring up the next thing I want to install, and I click install, and then done. See, it's doing all this automatically. Uh, so I'm telling you what, if you buy any app ever from the Android market, 
this would be the one I would consider getting. Alrighty, so it's done restoring my phone. My desktop is the way it was before. Widgets will have to manually be added again because they won't come back. And my lock screen code, as y'all saw, it was slide to unlock. And now my lock screen code will be back. After I restored my phone with Titania backed up and rebooted, my lock screen is back. All my settings for like how long my screen stays lit and how long my keyboard stays lit, all my Wi-Fi codes are stored or restored. Uh, what else is restored? It's about all I can think of off the top of my head. My home screen's restored, all my apps are restored, all my app data is restored, my lock screen's back, my Wi-Fi codes are back for all the places I've connected to. Everything's back. My phone is like I never left it. Thank you for watching. This video is going to take me a long time to put up. It's 527 right now. Please subscribe if you already haven't because I will keep posting more and more videos and they will not stop coming. And if you have any trouble, leave a comment on the video that you're having trouble with and I will respond almost immediately. And if I don't, you can bet that as soon as I get home or wake up, I will approve your comment and reply to it. I will continue to support you. Please subscribe. Thank you.